two. If you can determine the value that is in the 1.2 row, the 0 0.01 column, you are answering what percent of the bell is shaded from 0 to 1.21. And what do you guys see there? What is it? <coughs> is it 0.3869? So what you guys notice is this here is 0.3869. This is the probability value, but as a percent of the bell that's shaded, it is 38.169%. So what you guys see here is the percent of the bell that's shaded for the corresponding values of z. You guys see what I'm saying? So that is how we determine the percent of the bell that's shaded from 0 to some positive z value. Now here's the deal. Let's note. Let's note this. Let's note. This is vital here that we actually recall this. Let's note for negative z values. So if you have a picture that looks like this, and I have to determine, and you go, oh, here's a negative z value, negative 1.21. I have to determine the percent of the bow that's shaded here for between 0 and a negative, uh, one, negative 1.21. You're going to sit there and you're going to tell me, I don't have a z table that has negative z values. The table you gave me only has what? Positive z values. You're going to go, oh my god, you're trying to confuse me. I want to tell you what. Use the table for the positive z values. Why am I going to say to use the table for the positive z values? What's the key word here, or the key phrase? Why do I use the, the positives and not? Why don't I have a negative table? Why is it the same thing? Why is this the same? Why is it the same answer? 38. what? 69 percent. Why is that the same? It's the same for one key word or key phrase. Because of? Yes. Remember I erased it here for you? Because of symmetry, what you see on the right here is the same as what you see on the what? Left. So even though values of z here can be negative, like a negative 1.21, even though they can be negative, OK, that percent of the bell that's shaded is still positive. And it's all because of this key word, because of symmetry. You guys have any questions on that? So when I say I gave you only one table because I wanted to make it easier, instead of giving you two tables, because what would happen if I just gave you two tables, it is, it'll have everything's the same, but these values are now negative. All this will still be the same. So give you one table, and you should be OK. So if you ever have to find the percent of the bell that's shaded for this kind of picture, between 0 and what you have over here, use the same table, the positive table, because symmetry allows you to do so. OK, you guys OK with this? Now I'm going to do this to you. I'm going to ask you a few questions here. Because we have to go through all this before we go through a single problem. So here we go. For example, zero, two point four. What percent of the bell is shaded if my z score is between zero and two point four? What do you guys look for here? 
What do you look for now? Which row do you guys try to find? Get as close as you can to what? The z value. You have to have some row plus some column. Notice the rows again. The rows only go to values to the nearest tenth. So get as close as you can without going over to 2.4. You sit there and you go, oh, which row? 2.4 row. OK, 2.4. But you say, I thought I had to get as close as I can without going over. Well, if it's exact, then go with that exact value, 2.4. Now, why do you think over here there is a 0, 0 column or a 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 column? For when the case that you get the exact value. So that here, if I take the 2.4 row, because this gives me z scores to the nearest tenth position, here I fine tune to the nearest hundredths, I will take the point zero, 00 column, because isn't it true if I take 2.4 and add it with point zero, 00, I get 2.4, the z value? So yes, in this setting, you, you are going to take the point zero, 00 column. And what do you guys see there? What score is there? Point what? Point four nine one eight. Point. This is the probability value. As a percent of the ballot shaded, that's forty nine point one eight percent. You guys see what I'm saying? So you're using those values down there to determine the percent of the ballot shaded only for these pictures. Note, what about the negative version? What if it was th this? Negative 2.4. What's the answer now? What's the answer now? What is it? It's still the same. 49.18%. Why is it 49.18%? Because of what? Symmetry. Good. Anybody have any questions? You sure? OK, I'm going to ask you a few questions in. We're going we're gonna to test to see. We're going to test your knowledge. Test to see if you can answer these questions. Let's say this is 1.68, OK? And this is negative 0.12. Let's do it in red to be consistent. And tell me what percent of the bell is shaded now. 